Welcome to the 15th video of the Excel for Stock Market series. I'm really excited at the same time, a little bit exhausted that we have reached the midpoint, like we have completed 15 uh, videos. And this will be the 15th video in the series where we plan to publish 30 different Excel templates about stock market. And we're going to talk about them in 30 different videos in 30 days. In today's video, we're going to talk about Bollinger Bands. And this is one of the um, most used technical indicators in the space. And again, I know that just purely based on online research and from the book and uh, not that I'm an active trader, but it is one of the um, names that popped up often. So I really wanted to make sure that we include a template for that. Now we're going to start with first um, just highlighting the difference between the previous video where we talked about moving average um, envelope. So I'm going to go to I keep shifting between envelope and envelope. I'm not really sure what the right um, way to pronounce this is, or maybe there's no right way. Uh, hopefully this is clear about the moving average envelope uses a percentage, which then puts from the exponential moving average, um, a percentage above and percentage below, and that's your um, envelope. The Bollinger Bands is very similar uh, that's why I'm, I want to use that as an example reference. So if I go back to Bollinger Bands, in this case, instead of the percentage envelope, we actually use a standard deviation based um, uh, envelope or a band. Uh, it's called Bollinger Bands. And so that is the main difference, technically speaking. But from the usage of the template perspective, it's going to be very, very similar. So for us to use this template, we will just go ahead and type in any stock symbol. So it took two seconds to actually pull that information about what is um, the current price of the stock and everything. But we can also see the blue line indicating the price, the closing price every day. And then the, the band that you see, the shaded area is the Bollinger Band. And the Bollinger Band is um, using certain input parameters. We'll talk about that now. We are using uh, the Bollinger Bands typically uses a simple moving average. And there is a in this case, I've used a 20 period uh, moving average. And then we have a standard deviation parameter which says two. So what that means is that we calculate the simple moving average for 20 period moving average. And then we do a plus two standard deviations to come up with the upper band line and then minus two standard deviation to come up with the lower band line. And then that creates us the shaded area or a band. And so if I don't want a two standard deviation, if I want a three standard deviation, I can just type this in. And now you saw that the band changed and now some of those trading signals went away. And that's because the trading signals are completely subjective. Um, you can come up with your own strategy. You can have three standard deviation, four, two, or whatever it may be, but the template allows you to customize it. So if I go back to the two standard deviation input, now you see that I have some buy and sell signals. So what do they mean? So I have listed them here for your reference, but if the value crosses from above the lower band line, so if you look at this um, specific point here in around February 24th-ish and uh, 22nd, it says that it's a buy signal because the price line actually pierced the band and came out below the band. And that's why we are saying it's a buy signal and the opposite where it pierces the upper band line and goes out above, then it's a sell point. So now this is this is the strategy that we have implemented here. Um, and I will talk about where you can go and change them if you want to. Um, but that's what we see the red circles for the sell signal and then the green triangles for the buy signals. You can also change what you're plotting. Uh, instead of the closing price, you can use um, the low price for the day or you can use opening price of the day. Uh, it, but most common use is the close. You can also use volume. Uh, the most common ones that I've seen, people seem to be using the closing price. So that's the default. You can, um, just like all of our previous templates, um, if you haven't watched the previous video about the price chart, how, how, you know, how we built the price chart and what it is, please um, take a look at that video um, called Stock Price Chart Template. And I think that was video number two in the series and where we talk more about how we developed it. 
but the interactivity here is that I can change this to okay year to date so it'll show me year to date it'll show me last one year or, or I can go even five years so you can see that the the template is very very flexible and you can also change the interval whether it's daily or weekly or monthly you can choose it so I can go weekly and now it'll plot my weekly points um, again very dynamic instant refresh there's no delay uh, and all these inputs are there for you to customize so to summarize the bollinger bands are nothing but simple moving average but a building a band around the simple moving average with the plus some standard deviation and minus some standard deviation and the way we implement that is if i go into the unhide help sheet you will see that we calculate the simple moving average in column S and then we calculate the standard deviation in column T and then you just put together in a lower line um, as take the simple moving average subtract certain um, like two standard deviation that becomes the lower line and then the upper line will be take the simple moving average add two standard deviation then it becomes the upper line and then the signal um, is where we say if, um, as I was explaining, when the price pierces the lower uh, band and comes down, uh, or if it pierces the upper band and goes up, that's the signal. And that's what we implement in the formula. It's a simple if and um, if then formula that you can use to arrive at the signal strategy, whether it's a buy or a sell. So you see that it's a buy or a sell. And the buy or a sell is what we are plotting in the chart here as the the red circles and then the green triangles so that's how the template is built if you um, want to change your signal strategy then you will just go into the formula in the signal uh, column and then you will change this if formula then you have your own trading signal strategies so very very simple um, and again if you have any questions please post them in the comments below. I'll be very happy to explain that in a future video. Um, like I've mentioned in the previous videos, I'm not an active trader, so I don't know much about, you know, how people um, use it at a detail level. All I've done is to read up on the book as well as some online sites about um, what it's commonly used. And I'm then translating that mathematically into this Excel template. But if you're an active trader and if you know more about this, I would really love to hear from you. Uh, if you have suggestions on how to make these templates more useful um, to more people, uh, I would really love to hear your ideas so I can uh, improve this as well as come up with new um, templates that may address um, certain needs. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will um, see you in another video tomorrow. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so now so that you'll be notified. Thank you. See you tomorrow.